Okay, folks, here's a little uh, truck shifting 101. I'm not loaded right now. I'm empty. Drive a flatbed truck, in case you didn't figure that out. So, uh, the truck is relatively light. 29,800 pounds. And that includes uh, full tanks of fuel and meat. And this camera. So, uh, I can start off in fourth gear. If you've ever driven a car with a five-speed in it, the gear pattern is the same. It's just that I've got a little switch on the front of the gear shift lever that I can flip up or down for low range or high range. So I started off in fifth gear and, and uh, not shifting yet because uh, we're leaving a truck stop. But And now that you all are watching, I'll probably grind some gears. But that's just the way it goes, I guess. That was fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh. And if you notice, my right leg is not moving over here. It's because I float the gears. I don't uh, don't use the clutch unless I'm starting or stopping. Now we're back down to sixth gear. We're getting on the interstate right here. Only doing 25 miles an hour and just now going to eighth gear. Now we're up on the ninth, getting up past 40 miles an hour. Tenth gear, 51 miles an hour, and now merging onto the interstate. And that's it on shifting gears. Uh, the only difference would be when I'm loaded, I generally start off in third gear. And I say generally because if I've got a steep hill that I'm climbing, stopped at a red light or something, I might use second gear, but it's very rare. Third gear usually pulls it just, just fine.